Hi everyone, welcome to These Gabby's Dolls and Toys. I have a great video for you guys today. This video was a request. Um, you guys have been, you know, asking me to do a lot of specific videos for you guys and I'm having so much fun with that. I appreciate it. Keep them coming because you guys are giving me ideas, things that I probably wouldn't have thought of myself. So that's always awesome. This video is actually an updated, <laughs> an updated version of a video that I did probably uh, about a year or so ago. Uh, I have a video on Jesmars and that's what we're going to do today. Uh, but my friend Kara asked me if I could do another one in updated version and I said of course because things have changed since then. I do have a few new kids and I can't wait to share them with you. Welcome back you guys. So before I introduce you to everybody, I wanted to give you a little bit of information about the Jazzmars. Just for those of you who weren't familiar with them, Jazzmars are from Spain. They were produced in Spain between 1984 and 1985. And um, you know, when Caligo started making the kids in 1983, the demand was so much more than they had ever anticipated. So they decided, you know, we need to, we need another place where we can start producing these kids because this just isn't enough. So then came along the Jesmars and the Sakudas and the Triangs, and these were all factories that were in other countries. So Sakudas were from Japan, Jesmars from Spain, um, Triang was from South Africa, Lily Lettys were from Mexico. But today we're just gonna talk about the Jesmars. The Jesmers are so popular to this day amongst collectors. Um, and I think for me, I just think they're so pretty. They have a really nice complexion to them. Um, something about their eyes are a little different. And I, I think a lot of people say that um, they're, the paint is a little bit higher, I guess. A little more closed in. I don't know. They. Jesmars, um, for most people who have been collecting for a while, we can spot a Jesmar. Just in a picture, we know a Jesmar because they do have something that's very unique about them that's different than the other kids. Um, and even their, even their, their skin, I call it their skin, <laughs> the fabric on them is a little darker. The color is a little different than like your Coleco or your Hasbro kids. Um, they came in head molds one through four only because they were, they were, you know, the early kids, they were only produced in 1984 and I believe on 1984 and 1985. So, um, you know, at that time there were only four head molds. So, um, and another thing about them is that they, they did have some outfits that were similar to the, the Coleco kids outfits, but, um, uh, there were also outfits that were exclusive to Jesmar kids and I don't know a whole lot about that But I figured that I would share that with you guys um, They're a little taller than the Coleco kids um, Coleco kids are 16 inch Jesmar's run around 17 maybe a little bit more than that So um, so yeah, there's there's a few differences and they're just they're just beautiful beautiful kids They were made in Spain but distributed in Germany, France, Spain, obviously. Um, I'm not positive about all the other countries, but I know that, that those three for sure. And um, I always wonder like how they got over here um, because there's a lot of them over here now. And I've been collecting Full Force for about three years and this guy right here was my very first Jesma, and this is Mateo. Some of you guys probably already know Mateo because he's been in quite a few of my videos, but he was my very first Jesmar love. <laughs> he's my little sweetheart, and he's always going to be in, in, in my collection. Um, as you guys know, things change around here. You know, I bring new kids in all the time, and 
unfortunately I can't keep them all because I just I wouldn't have space for all of them but there's certain kids that I know will always be with me and this little guy right here is definitely one of them so I'm gonna show you guys everybody else you already know Mateo Mateo is not wearing um, obviously he's not wearing a cabbage patch kid outfit this was an outfit that a friend of mine denise gave me for him we were in a swap a few years ago um a, a gift swap for our kids and i entered mateo in, and this is what she and her cabbie got him and it's like a little beach outfit i still have his original jesmer outfit though i do have it but it's summertime so he's sporting this usually in the winter i'll put him in that and in the summer i keep him in this one so if you guys want to meet everybody else stick around okay so everybody is sitting pretty for you guys um hopefully it'll stay that way so this beautiful little um brown haired boy in the green with a passy he's a number four passy face with freckles brown hair brown eyes he is everything he was one of my first jesmars um i've had him for a couple years now he's oh my god this kid is so cute from head to toe his outfit everything and he's a fuzzy um one thing that i want to say about okay as a rule the only year that Coleco produced Fuzzy Boys was 1983, but that wasn't so for Jesmar. Jesmar had Fuzzy Boys the whole time. They produced Fuzzy Boys the whole time that they were making the kids. So um, I'm, you know, some of these kids are from 1984, some are from 1985. This little boy next to him, oh, he's so cute with the blue eyes and the freckles and the fuzzy hair. I don't think that his outfit is Jesmar. I think that he may be wearing a Coleco outfit. Some of my kids are in Coleco outfits. They're not all Jesmar from head to toe, um, but that's okay because I love them anyways. Um, but it, it's definitely a gem when you get when you can find a Jesmar head to toe shoes, outfit, everything. So another thing I wanted to tell you guys about the Jesmars is their trademark is freckles. So kids like Mateo and the little blonde hair over in, in the corner wearing the blue, they don't have freckles. So that actually makes them uncommon and a little more rare as far as Jesmars go. And it's funny because with Coleco, freckled kids are considered more rare than non-freckled kids. So that's where they're a little different. And then this guy right here, OMG, he is a, he's a, he's a diamond. He is amazing. You will not see kids like him very often. Um, I've only seen a few with the lemon fuzzy hair and the green eyes. He's a number two head mold and he's wearing the orange sailor suit, which is from what I understand, that's pretty rare also. So he's a rare kid wearing a rare outfit. He is beautiful. Um, I was lucky enough to um, be able to adopt him from my friend Nicole. And these girls right here, they've been with me for a few years. And, and again, like Mateo, they will be with me forever. They were gifts from my friend Michelle. And they're, you know, the typical Jesmars with the freckles. Um, the little lemon girl here, she's a number one. And this girl right here is a number three head mold. I believe that she's wearing a Jesmer outfit, but she is not. But they're both in Cabbage Patch outfits. Now this little red girl, red poodle, she is another one who is a gem. Um, her, from the outfit that she's wearing to her hair color, um, her eye hair combination, she is a beauty. She is the epitome of Jesmar Kid. She's absolutely gorgeous with the green eyes, the freckles. Look at how nice their complexions are, you guys. Look at that. Look at the color in their complexions. It's, they're just beautiful, beautiful. And I don't know what Jesmar did different than the other companies, but they really produce some beautiful kids. And then this girl up here, she's fairly new. She's one of my newer Jezzies gold um she's got the gold single pony hairstyle with the green eyes 
and I believe this is called a gingham dress. Don't quote me on that, but I think, but it's a really cute dress. And I don't, I don't, haven't seen that very often. And then over here, this little guy right here, this is Junie. He's one of my favorite kids. He's so sweet. He's number one, head mold, green eyes, freckles, lemon loops. Another thing about Jesmar is the loops in their hair, the, the thread that they use is very thin in comparison to some of the other uh, factories that produce the kids. Very, very, very thin. And then you guys already met Mateo. And then these guys over here, these are actually twins. I had a video um, when I first got them. These are, these are twin brothers. They're not really twins because Jesmar didn't make twins. Sakuda did, but Jesmar did not. But they're so similar that we, we call them twins. Cuties with the freckles. And last but not least is this little girl right here. She's the lemon single pony, blue eyed. She is mint. She is flawless. Um, she's number two head mold, um, blue dress. I'm, she's Jesmar from head to toe. Absolutely beautiful. So these are, this is my, this is my Jesmar bunch. Each one of them is, is, you know, very unique in their own way, but I love them all. They're really, really beautiful kids. Jesmars are really special kids. Um, collectors love Jesmars. I love Jesmars right out of the gate. Immediately when I started collecting cabbies, I saw the Jesmars and I knew that I wanted to have a ton of these in my collection. And one reason is because they're not as easy to find. Um, they were only made for a couple of years, so there aren't as many of them out there. And they're absolutely gorgeous Cabbage Patch Kids. They really, really are. Um, they're, in, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I think that they put a lot of work into making these dolls. They stand out. They really, really do. They stand out. They're absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, their complexions, the freckles. Everyone loves a freckled Cabbage Patch Kid, and most of them have freckles. And, you know, we love the ones who don't, too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something new about Jesmars if you're a new collector or someone who just, you know, is new to collecting Jesmars. I hope that I taught you something. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.